Next question is from FP Packer. What are the best at home stability exercises to increase the big three or five? I've got, I've got the first two right away. Um, I, for squatting and deadlifting, I love pistol squats and single leg deadlift. Mm. Uh, for bench, what would I do stability wise at home that I think would Im improve that? You, well, I'll, so I'll give you a couple that I noticed for me you had a huge carryover for presses and squats. Um, two things. Carries, overhead carries really improve my mm -hmm. presses. Mm -hmm. Just that stability that's required to I hold like that, that no, extended I, no, position. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. The tight body, especially the overhead press. I couldn't, I couldn't believe how much stronger I was at the overhead press just from practicing heavy overhead dumbbell like like or that. kettlebell carries. Sled driving. Okay, so I have now incorporated sled drives regularly into my routine. Saturday mornings, that's my workout as I'm driving the sled for five or six rounds and I'm putting as much weight as I can stack on there. And what's happened as a result of that is my squat has gone through the roof and I'm, it's 100% because of the drives. I'm squatting more, almost more weight, if not more weight than I've ever squatted before. And it's entirely yeah. because of the sled drives. And I know Joe DeFranco like mm -hmm. swears by them. Now, sled drive is oh, I love them. partial stability. Part of it is the driving of the legs. But the part that I really feel most solid when I squat now is my glutes, my upper back. And it, and it comes from holding the my arms at distance mm -hmm. and driving you know, 600 pounds across the pavement. It's really made a big difference. Yeah, and I would add one to like the overhead press, um, the bottoms-up kettlebell press. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, of course, this, this requires you to have a kettlebell at your house. But um, just that stability from – uh, you know, you know, having like the different planes, so the frontal plane, so left to right stability, having sagittal plane, uh, front to back stability, having that rotational uh, component, like all those things you have to account for because the load itself is is teetering. So you don't know which side it's going based off of your weakness. It's gonna it's gonna lean towards your weakness, and you have to adjust. And so I think it's it's a it's a really valuable uh, exercise if you're gonna look at it as like reinforcing your shoulder joint and really addressing a lot of the stabilizing muscles that are behind it. Which yeah. is, is normally a limiting factor for most people increasing their bench. So that, right. that was really good. I don't know why I didn't think that right away, which also reminds me then of uh, the Z press. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. that's another great shoulder strength stability exercise that you can do and practice at home if you want to increase your bench, especially that one because you kind of start down below on your oh, chest totally. and press and pull it through. It addresses your core and, and back, yeah. lower back stability like yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, totally. And then uh, here's some other ones you could do at home. You could do a full plank with your arms extended and really increase intensity mm -hmm. through your arms and shoulders. Or you could bring the push-up all the way down. If you tend to get stuck at the bottom of a bench press, you can go all the way down, hover above the floor, and hold that with good, tight intensity yeah. for time. So you basically do an isometric at the bottom portion of the Have a, you of seen press. Smitty's? It's, it's more advanced. I wouldn't like on the, recommend on the it band. to everybody, but yeah, on top of one of those what big, does he call it? bands. There's a name uh, he calls uh, it. Like the earthquake? Uh, I think so. Earthquake push-up. Push-up or something? Yeah. But uh, I thought I've actually done those before, and I do find it very challenging in you know uh, that and the bamboo bar as well. So like uh, the bamboo bar has like a flex to it. So uh, and you hang weights uh, with with rubber bands. So basically, you know they move, uh, and, and it's basically like the 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 weight and the load shifts a lot, and you have to account for that. So there's some value to those well, as well. maybe a, a regression to that because that's a bit advanced. That I, but I like where you're going with that is a suspension trainer. Oh uh, yeah, suspension trainer pushups are are grossly underrated. Such a great. You're at, uh, I mean, that's a great point. Totally. It, it's yeah. and it's a really great exercise to kind of prime before you go into chest, like because especially if you've got good mobility and you can yes, go real deep. That's what, that's what I mean. Like you you work on the the depth of those and good shoulder stability like that because the arms are independent. Uh, I've had a lot of, like a lot of success with going over do two or three sets of suspension trainer push-ups. I pick an angle that's relatively easy as far as the push-up portion of it, but more the stability of the shoulder and range of motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do that for two or three sets, then go over to bench. I feel really locked in and stable before I go in. So that's a good movement. Mm -hmm.